All right, um, so I'm at a service call here, and uh, well, essentially, a customer called in last night, saying that the, you know, the um line set was the uh, suction line was frozen, so um, got here, opened it up, and the blower is not running. So I'm gonna quickly just do um, I'm troubleshoot this thing. I'm pretty sure it's the blower motor, it's a variable speed blower, but. Never know, so I'm just gonna start with the high voltage. I'll go back here, power's off. As you can see, I have this um, terminal. Set my meter. Bolts. I'm just gonna go ahead and put one, one side in the black, one side in the white, and I should get 120, 120 volts. All right, so we got 124.6 volts. Looks good. So we're definitely getting high voltage. Put that back in there. And once again, I've already tested to make sure I was getting, I had my, um, the thermostat calling for fan, made sure I was getting voltage between, um, G and blue, also R and, uh, red and common. So we're getting voltage there. So it's definitely calling. Next I'm going to perform, it's, uh, go, no go test is what they call it so essentially you're in the manual it just says you have to send 24 volts to between uh, pins 12 and 15 and 1 and 3 so got some jumpers here take out our harness so manual pin one is blue so blue so between the blue and the third one now put one and three like such so that's one and three and then we're gonna do between 12 and 15 so pin Nine is orange. So we'll take the orange, count nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's the square one here. The jumper there. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Then the other square one here. So I just put little splices in this wire so I can connect the jumper to it. Now what I'm gonna do is jump R. And then blue to that side. R to one side, blue to the other. C common. Then we hit power. And we've got nothing. So we know for certainty that blower motor is bad. We also want to just go ahead and make sure we check continuity. Um, Make sure the harness itself isn't bad. So that's another thing. I'll check each terminal. I guess it would have been quicker just to jump across all of the, um, you know, directly to the motor, but make sure you inspect these little pins on each side. Well, usually the harness isn't the issue, but it definitely got continuity. Yep, and like I said, you always want to make sure you do a visual inspection of all the pins. They all look good. I um, check continuity across each one. 
and they all toned out so it's not the harness it's actually the motor itself so it's a quick one just um thought i'd show you just my process and how i diagnose some um, variable speed blower motors per per the manual so all right if you um have any comments you know put the comments below if you have a different way of doing it let me know in the comments below and um also if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and give us a subscribe all right we'll see you around thanks